Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Panthers versus Chargers NFL matchup on Sunday, September 15th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Just go to PickDogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. I've also got a link directly below this video in the description. Just got to click right down there. Of course, uh, prices range between $15 all the way up to yearly packages. But regardless of what you're buying, you can use the discount code PICK to get 15% off. If you are looking for VIP concierge style packages, kind of that exclusive one-on-one uh, -on -one type thing, we offer those as well. But those are our most expensive premium packages. You need a big bankroll to be a big better for it to make any sense at all. If that's you, text that number. But let's get to it. We got the Panthers taking on the Chargers. Week two of the NFL season. Panthers absolutely slaughtered by the Saints in week one. And the Chargers, well, look pretty decent, especially in the second half of that one um, against the Raiders. You know, the Chargers kind of wore them down. You know, Justin Herbert did not have a big day in that game against the, against the Raiders. Um, you know, he only threw for... For 100 and set through uh, for 140 yards in that game, the the uh, Chargers ran for 176, but it was the Chargers' rush defense allowing just 71 yards against that rate against the Raiders. Also, you know Jim Harbaugh's style. They didn't make a lot of mistakes. In fact, they didn't make any mistakes. They didn't turn the ball over at all. And J.K. Dobbins. Just 10 carries, but 135 yards, including that 61-yarder. He looked very good and very healthy. In fact, you know, he looked a little bit like a stronger Austin Eckler, and I know I'm probably going to hear some heat from you guys about that, but I think he did. I think he looked very, very impressive. I tell you, when he came out, when he was coming out of Ohio State, he was one of the guys that I wish that my team, which is the Dolphins, would have drafted him, and of course, uh, the Ravens took him one pick ahead of when the Dolphins were picking. But the thing is, the Panthers, as bad as they were against the Saints, there's just not a lot of good things you can say about it. Bryce Young was absolutely hideous in that game. There's no other way to say it. He threw for 135 yards and two interceptions. He had no touchdown passes. The rushing attack was non-existent. Chuba Hubbard only carried the ball six times for 14 yards. Sanders, 22 yards on five carries. The Panthers simply had no answers, but, you know, at the same time, they didn't have the ball either. The time of possession, th almost 37 minutes for the Saints and just 23 minutes for the Panthers. Just bad any way that you slice it. The Panthers are just 4-12-2 in their last 14 games overall, which kind of leads us back to the number in this game, which is in that five range. And I know the home team generally gets three points, right, when it's all when, when they start making lines. But at the same time, we look at this one, it's kind of like, man, the Panthers lost by, you know, 40 last week. You would think that, uh, you know, the Chargers, especially Jim Harbaugh and, you know, all that kind of stuff behind it, that it would there would be a lot more behind it. I gotta say, I think this week's game is a lot more competitive. I don't know if the Panthers, you know, have what it takes to pull out a win here, you know, in in, in their home opener. But the thing is, you know, the Chargers. I think this is still very much a work in progress, and Jim Harbaugh is more of a slow it down, grind it out type of coach, which leads to closer games. I'm gonna take the points with the Panthers, and that's gonna be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.